Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. The Corey Adams Searchlight Act is named after a military Air Force veteran who lived with post-traumatic stress and bipolar disorder. He went missing in 2017 and tragically was later found deceased at a park near his home. Since then, his family has fought to help other veterans like him and continue to make a huge difference in honor of Corey. It's my pleasure to welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee, the sister of the late Corey Adams, Carmen Adams. How are you, Carmen? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for being here. And the last time you were here, which mm -hmm. was this past February, yes. you were waiting for the green alert to mm -hmm. be passed. Yes. And since then, uh, Wisconsin has become the first state mm -hmm. to have a green alert. Yes. Talk about this accomplishment and what it means to you and your family. Um, it's a huge accomplishment. Um, you know, to have my brother be honored and remembered in this way mm -hmm. is very special um, and is very near and dear to our hearts because, you know, it's it's a way for us to help veterans who have mental Ill you know illnesses and issues and giving them a chance, you know, when they do become missing, they're labeled critically missing right away. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it's just been a huge honor for us. Yeah, and that was really a turning point for you because mm -hmm. your brother being a, a veteran who was dealing with some uh, mental health issues uh, mm -hmm. from going to uh, these different places. He went to Afghanistan. Iraq and um, I believe Kuwait, mm -hmm. he was there as well. So he served in all these different places mm -hmm. and came back really uh, not himself, not right. completely himself, mm -hmm. so when he went missing, uh, you had that delay of first we have to establish that he's critically missing right. and that was time that uh, was needed. Yes, eight days. It took the police eight days to label him critically missing. They just kept telling my parents that he didn't fit the criteria. Mm. So, and then 18 days later he was found deceased in Deneen Park. Yeah, but I've said this last time you were here, I just have so much respect for the fact that you guys were mourning the loss of someone you love so very much mm -hmm. but at the same time you were fighting and saying this is not going to happen to any other family exactly. so uh, talk about what that journey was like um, it was a pretty quick journey I thought it was going to take a little bit longer than that mm -hmm. um, we started talking with state representative Latanya Johnson's office in May mm -hmm. so roughly a month after Corey's body had been found and by November of 2017, we were up in Madison testifying. Um, and then on February 20th, it was passed into a law. And March 28th, it was signed into a law. So, wow. Yes. And soon after uh, the governor signed the Green Alert bill into law, Democratic Congresswoman Gwen Moore mm -hmm. and Congressman Ron King of La Crosse, they introduced a bill that would create a nationwide Green Alert to mm -hmm. locate missing vulnerable veterans. So what's the status on that? Um, we're just kind of waiting to see what's going on. We know it's been introduced at the federal level. Um, we have received a lot of responses and feedback from other states that um, want to adopt this as well. So we're getting a lot of positive feedback about it. So we're very excited and we know that um, you know, we'll be up in Washington, D.C. testifying soon. So, wow. Yes. Because really, it, it's something that I think uh, no one ever thought about because we have the Amber Alert for children. Right. We have the Silver Alert for uh, the elderly mm -hmm. who uh, end up missing for whatever reason. And then we never really thought about a green alert right. and you guys immediately came up with this and uh, I think that it's definitely going to be uh, something that we see take place. You yes. are confident too that oh, it's yes. going to go nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, so the green alert has already uh, been issued mm -hmm. on several uh, occasions. The other day I saw one, um, it was for a veteran who was in the town of Verona, mm -hmm. and then most recently another one. And really, what do you think and feel when you see these green alerts go out? It's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. um, of course, when they when they you know do the green alert, I get text messages from people. One of my coworkers, mm -hmm. he'll always text me and be like, "They just issued another green alert." Um, so it's bittersweet. It's it's a great 
achievement to know that we're assisting saving the lives of other veterans. Mm -hmm. But then it's kind of like, I wish it would have been in place when Corey was missing. Absolutely. So, yeah. But this is like the ultimate way to mm -hmm. honor him and remember him. Yes. And it really is truly making a difference. You mm -hmm. guys have a website up, the Corey Adams Green Alert Project. Yes. What are some of the things that you have on the website? Um, on there, I just have a little bit of background information about the Green Alert and a little bit of information about Corey. I talk about um, his birthday being next week Wednesday and mm -hmm. how that's Corey Adams Day and um, just you know just different information on there for people to know what the green alert is about and to know the history about it. Okay and since you mentioned it September 26th yes. again it's Corey Adams Day yes. uh, and that is where the city of Milwaukee has actually uh, mm -hmm. given a proclamation and yes. this is uh, all about just really the work that you and your family have done mm -hmm. and really honoring him as a veteran who dedicated many years of his life making a difference as well. Yes, absolutely. That's awesome. Absolutely, yes. So uh, what's gonna happen on Corey Adams Day? Well, um, at the school where I teach, we're having Green Day. So mm -hmm. everybody's going to wear green. And I've put it out there on Facebook. I'm just asking people, wear something green, take a picture, post it, um, do a hashtag on near the uh, Corey Adams green light search at um, so just excited to see everybody in their green. So, yes. Yeah. And uh, we want people to also mark their calendars for yes. Saturday, September 29th. Yes. Uh, you've got a big celebration mm -hmm. happening that day. Tell us more about that. From 11 to 6 at Lincoln Park mm -hmm. um, in picnic area 2, we're going to have his um, second annual birthday picnic. Last year it wasn't that big. This year it's a little bit bigger. Next year we're going to make it even bigger. We're going to have a voter registration booth there mm -hmm. so people can come register to vote. And we also know on that day um, in Midtown, it's people can actually go do early voting. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be transporting people over there to do that. We'll have face painting for the kids. Um, trying to get some other veteran organizations there to like set up tables or just to come to support. So. We're expecting a lot of people to just come and support. Yeah, and you are actually uh, opening this up to the entire community. Yes. So uh, you want people to come out again to Lincoln Park from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday, September 29th. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just mesmerized by all of the things that you're able to put together uh, in honor of Corey and all of these things are so significant in helping make a difference in the community. So yes. it's just amazing how things kind of fall into place yeah. and it has this helped you uh, kind of get past losing your brother? A little bit. If possible. Yeah, a little you know, bit. I miss him every day. Yeah. I miss him every day. Yeah. So. You guys uh, had a special relationship. We were very close. Yeah. All three of us. We have a younger brother too. So, so yeah. you can imagine just how proud he is of you. Yeah. Uh, kind of <laughs> looking down and really um, just just seeing everything that you've been able to accomplish in, like you said, such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not as simple as you've made it look, but right. you've had that will and determination to make it happen. Yes. Yeah. And speaking of, uh, the last time you were here, you told us about your aunt yes. who was putting together Corey's Place, mm -hmm. which was uh, specifically set up for homeless veteran mm -hmm. men and women. Mm -hmm. How's that coming along? Um, still in the works. Mm -hmm. She's putting some... Um, finishing touches on the homes um, every weekend when she's off she's fixing it up so mm -hmm. I know she said the upper part is complete and now they're working on the downstairs part so we're praying that maybe by the end of the year we can start getting some veterans in there um, you know to help them in yeah. whatever areas they need to be assisted in. That's awesome stuff. So uh, what do you uh, suppose will be the next step in really um, just making things happen? Because you've, like I said, done so much, but yeah. I, I kind of know you now, Carmen. You've got something else working, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> what would you like to see happen? Oh, wow. Um, definitely want to see the Green Alert go national. Yeah. Um, I really would like to just be able to get out there and tell my brother's story. I just really would. Um, I would love to do a documentary about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see that happening. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to share with our viewers today? Um, just thank everybody for their support. It's just been awesome and amazing um, from myself 
and my family, I know we could not have gotten through this without the all the support that we've received. And we just thank everybody for their love and support. Yes, and I think I speak for a lot of people when I say thank you for uh, taking your love for Corey and spreading it uh, not only across the state of Wisconsin, but very soon we're talking it into existence, <laughs> yes. spreading it across the nation and helping yes. those veterans yes. who are just like Corey. So yes. continued success, Thank many you. blessings to you and Thank your family you. and so uh, keep us up to date. Definitely. All right, take care. Carmen Adams is the sister of the late Air Force veteran Corey Adams. For more information on anything we've discussed, you can visit their website, the Corey Adams Alert Project.com. That is going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. As always, I thank you for watching, and I hope you join us again next week as we take another look at Our Issues Milwaukee. Have a great day.